name is Nikita and I'm from the BankX project. So here you see a Lucy chart of our proof of asset protocol. Uh, well, these are the different steps that our product token needs to take in order to uh, exit in the BankX market. So uh, we collect some initial information, we then process it with some formulas that we have developed into a smart contract, then into a smart asset. Then this product token that's in the BankX market where it's filtered through product filters and finally beats, meets the bids and the asks. And then it's delivered to the uh, buyer and uh, the, project, the product originator receives the BankX tokens. So here we also see the BankX Foundation that has as a mission to uh, develop smart contracts. If say a company comes and doesn't have the necessary smart contract to tokenize uh, for example, office spaces, then this community will develop a new smart contract that will allow to uh, tokenize office spaces, introduce them on the BankX market, and hence allow the company to get financing uh, other securization products. So, uh, this is a brief story about our BankX foundation, and now I'm going to show you how uh, a demo of how to create a card token. Uh, so, here we have a user interface that has a VIN, a model, a brand, a year, and a color to input. Uh, we can take an example and input uh, Audi A4, uh, red color, then we click on create, and uh, using the MetaMask plugin uh, from the Chrome browser, uh, we can deploy our smart contract, this time on the testnet, because uh, we're still testing it. So we get the transaction number, uh, the current transaction number, that we then input on the header scan to uh, track our transaction. Well, it takes some time, uh, some, a few minutes to uh, get mined by the Ethereum miners. And uh, finally, uh, we see that our transaction has been accomplished and uh, the product is on the blockchain. Thank you very much.